who were you working with on your new album Be- besides James Worthy? Because I know he's the executive producer. Um, are there any collaborations on any of the tracks? Oh, well, right now it's just me and James Worthy. He's got at least five thousand. It's one of his um, artists that he's working with. Um, also, one of my children might be on the album too. I can't even really call them kids because they're they're eighteen, nineteen, and you know my 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 youngest is going to be sixteen. So my children are all grown up. It seems like they don't. <laughs> they're they're something else. But yeah, I mean it's it's going to basically be me. You know, with this album, I want everyone to hear everything that I've been through. You know, collaboration-wise, it might be somebody doing maybe 16 bars, like Babs is on my single, or something like that. But other than that, though, I mean, it's going to be all me. I got too much to talk about. <laughs> right now, you said one of your one of your children may be on the album. Is it? Yeah. Is it Eva by any chance? Because from what I hear, she's gotten a little bit into writing. Oh yeah, that girl there, Eva the Diva. Man, heck yeah, she'll be the one that's on the album. She, you know, has already wrote songs for me now. And um, matter of fact, she set this interview up. So my girl is no joke. Eva the Diva is definitely amazing. She's have a business mind. I mean, my kids have been around, you know, the cameras, the the music, the studio. They they know what I do. So they have all of it in them. But Eva has really, really taken the reins with it. You know, she models, she acts, she does all that stuff. So the girl is, is like another me with a twist. So I'm excited. Right. Now, from what I understand, besides your talent in singing and acting and modeling, you also play a couple of instruments. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, play the drums. Yeah, play the drums. And I'm pretty much by ear, you know, but when I get on them drums, it's a different story. Man, I go to town. I got rhythm in me all day. My dad plays the drums. He plays guitar. He writes. So it just kind of came, you know, passed down to me. Right. Are you producing music at this point? Yeah, I do. I produce music, too. I I put my foot all up in it. You know, if I'm going to do something, I might as well have my hands in in the music, you know, that side, too. I mean, that's just been a part of me from back back then, I can remember. I've always been producing. Okay. Now, I saw a photo on Instagram with you and a rapper, you guys were in the studio, and you referred to him as your artist. Now, yes. are you signing yes. acts? Right. Is he yes, your I protege? Or what's, what's the story well, behind that? This, this boy, Yay D, that, that is an artist of mine. Um, I do have a label called New Life Entertainment, and we sign people. I have a you know an R&B, a pop artist that I'm, I'm looking at right now. But, yes, for sure, Yay D is my first hip-hop artist. And this boy is out of control with it. If I could say anything about him, it's like he's like a guy, me. But he just has that, that hip-hop, that the way that he speaks, you know, his tone of voice, the stuff that he says is amazing. It's like, how did you even think of that? So he's got charisma, and I'm so excited to introduce everybody, you know, introduce him to everybody out there. So I'm excited, yes. New Life Entertainment, that's my label. I am signing people. Okay, so he's a rapper, but does he sing or produce tracks as well, or he's just strictly an MC? I mean, he's an MC, but he also sings. That's what's crazy. This boy has is, is got everything on lock. I mean, he could probably even produce. So we're getting back in the studio to do his album and everything. We do have his first single, which is called Rise and Grind. The song is beautiful. It, it's all it's basically on some old, when you get up in the morning, what you going to do? You rise and you grind. You grind for whatever your your stuff is. If it's singing, if it's basketball, if it's, you know, going to the job, if it's a mother, you know, getting up and getting her kids, you know, together, it's all about your grind. So you rise and you grind. So that's the first single that he has, which is a beautiful song. Like I said, everybody can relate to it. So he sings, he does all that he produces, but right now, you know, we, we worked on his video. We got that in the works as well. So you know, it's going to be really hot. When y'all hear him, y'all going to be like, okay, I get it. I see. <laughs> Will you be featured on each other's albums by any chance? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's another feature, yes, for sure. I definitely will have him probably on on my album. But, you know, of course, Boss Lady got to be on the album. Absolutely. Now, for what I understand, you won a Grammy at some point? With oh, yeah, I have a Grammy. The... Yeah, but I have a Grammy. Who did you work with to to win that Grammy? Um, I worked with, well, obviously I got a Grammy for um, for the Diddy situation, but, you know, also a platinum plaque. So that right there is, you know, something from 10 years ago, but I also worked with T-Pain and, you know, some things. Definitely later on down the line, I'm, I see more Grammys in my future and platinum plaque. What was it like working with T-Pain? 
Um, I mean, it just was, it was kind of like normal. It's like going there and I just do my thing, you know, produce some, some records or, you know, write some music to, you know, with them. And it's just, it's just basically work. So it doesn't, you know, feel different to work with anybody if they're in, in the industry and they're doing their thing and they're at a different status. It's just, to me, I'm at the status too. So it's just, we were in there just working. Right. Now, from what I understand, you were working it with Timbaland at some point. Is that correct? Um, no, I never worked with Timberland, no. No, that was oh. some stuff that was in the works that was going to happen, but didn't go through. So, no, I haven't worked with Timberland, but, you know, I could see that in the works as well. I, well, I, I hope that does come through because Timberland is my favorite producer of all time. So if if that ever happens, I would love to hear it. I mean, please send me a link so I can talk <laughs> about it and blog about it because I have to hear that. Now, That's what's up. <laughs> seeing, seeing that you're an actress and a singer, and, and, and at one point you were going to work with Timberland, and hopefully in the future it may happen. What I wanted to ask you was, seeing that Timberland does a lot of the music for the show Empire, mm-hmm. would you ever like to appear on the show, either as an actress or a musical act? Well, heck yeah. I love I love acting. I'm a drama queen all day long. But I feel like Empire, I mean, it's so big right now. I would love to be on Empire I mean, any music person, honestly, would probably want to be on Empire because it's just I love the concept of it. I love the stuff that's going on. I mean, it's a it's a storyline, and I just feel like it's there's real talent on there. So I definitely would love to be on that. All right, absolutely. Plus, you never know what it, it really could lead into because from what I understand, uh, Taraji P. Henson is getting, I guess, like a spinoff show now, mm. Cookie Line. Yeah, I just read about that that's the other great. day, and I said, yeah, I said, wow, that's, you know, because it's it's just into, the, actually the second season technically didn't even air yet, and she's already getting a spinoff, so, I, wow. I mean, you know, that, that's how you know the show's doing well. Now, speaking of TV shows, you're going to be on a reality TV show coming soon? Yeah, we it's called From the Bottom Up, and it's going to be airing on BET Centric, so I'm excited. It's a positive-based show, but the producers are Nikki Gilbert, uh, Queen Latifah, and you know, there's five other women on the show as well besides myself. And it's basically just, a, you know, a show showing that, you know, we, we, we were at the bottom and we went through some things or we lost family or whatever the heck the case may be. You know, we had some bumps in the road, but we're coming back up again and we're, you know, putting our, our lives back together. And it's just filming that. So it just it's going to show people out there that no matter what you're going through, you know, you could be at the bottom and it looks like it's over for you, but boom, here's that, that ray of light, that ray of hope, you know, that if we can do it, y'all can do it too. Now on this show, you said there's going to be like five other women. Are you guys living all in the same house, kind of like a... Oh, no. No, we grown with this mess. We grown. So we got our own pads, our own lives, our own families, and it's just, you know, docu- documenting our lives, you know, at the bottom to the top, what we've been through. At the end of the show, will there be a reunion where everybody comes back together? Is it one of those types of shows, or it's like a strictly documentary type of show? Well, not sure if it's a reunion at the end. I mean, as producers, all that stuff, that's their call. But it's definitely going to be more on, on the positive base. It ain't going to be, you know, we pulling and smacking somebody down or something like that. We're going to actually be, you know, doing something with our lives. Oh. Now, it's interesting you just mentioned weave because – I saw some photos of you on the internet. I guess these were from a little while ago, and your hair looked really different. It was a different color. It wasn't your uh, natural dark color. It was kind of, I guess, medium brown. And you had a T-shirt that said "Weave" on it. And I said, "Huh? Mm-hmm. Is, is Sarah have or is she working with a weave company?" Well, that was my girl's um, her her weave. I mean, I put in blonde hair, just something different. Everybody knows me for my curly, crazy, psycho hair. And um, my girl, Latanya Saunderson, she actually owns all the weave shops, you know, the ones here in Michigan, Atlanta, all over the place. So it's funny you just said that because I was just with her last night. Her her brother is Kevin Saunderson. He um, produced that song, The Good Life, from way back in the day, but he also spins, you know, at EDM and all that stuff. He's big overseas. But, yeah, she, um, she you know, had me model one of her, her little weave, little signatures and all that stuff. So she's definitely going to be on the show. That's my best friend. And, um, you know, there'll be a hairline thing in the works or something, some type of signature look for me. But, yeah, that was some years ago. But, yeah, that's funny you, you mentioned that. <laughs> I was just with her yeah. last night. 
Yeah, because when I saw the pictures, I said, huh, that's interesting. Because, you know, I, I never remember <laughs> seeing you with, with weave, or if I did see you with weave, I didn't know it was a weave. But, I mean, like, I can't yeah, tell. Yeah, I had no I weave. Know. That was all my hair. That was all my hair. All on making the band everything. That was my hair and my locks. But you know what? Right. I love weave. Why not? I mean, weave, wigs, whatever. Women, you know, we can, we can change up our looks in a blink of an eye. But the thing is, guys don't understand, is like a lot of the styling and all that stuff will ruin your hair. So you want to kind of save your hair and braid that junk up, put a weave up in it, so cause, you know, because then you could damage that hair, but it's not your hair being damaged. So that's why a lot of women wear, you know, weaves or wigs and all that stuff. You don't want to damage your own stuff because it's everyday styling, all that heat and you know, combing and tearing at it and trying to hurry up and different looks, you know, that's why women wear weave. Right. Absolutely. Now, besides the weave, I, one of the things that I've always loved about when I see you is that the way that you dress, it's like really, it's like, I, I don't know whether or not you have a stylist, but if you're styling it, styling your look yourself, then... I, I'm pretty sure you've at least thought about becoming a stylist because I mean you're dressed to the nines. I mean I, I love the way that you, mm. the way that you walk out there looking. It's like wow, just like you know, like everybody just like all the heads turn. People are just breaking their necks. Like who's that? Like oh, that's Sarah Stokes. Like you know <laughs> what I mean? Like <laughs> now, do you have a stylist or do you style yourself? Well, you know what? I have been styling myself, you know, from after making the band and all that stuff. I usually have been doing my own thing. But, you know, I've worked with people here and there, you know, when it, when it comes to different, like, photo shoots or, you know, just me having to make an appearance. But usually the everyday styling is me, you know. I mean, thank, big up to all the people out there, the styling. I am looking for my main stylist. So hit me up, newlifeinc at Gmail. I'm telling you all. Um, it's going down, and I definitely need somebody for my video. So I am looking for people that, you know, got the Sarah Stokes thing down pat. Oh, you heard that, folks. You better hit her up. Hey, can you say that email address it's one up. more time? New Life, I-N-C, and that's at Gmail. So y'all y'all hit me up, man. You, you can go on my Twitter, which is Sexy Sarah Stokes, my Instagram, Sarah underscore Stokes, and my Facebook, Sarah.Stokes.330. Y'all can hit me up and direct message me and, you know, let me know what's up with your style and stuff, man, because it possibly could be in the video. And the video will be airing on BET, and it will be um, the world premiere. So your stuff will be wow. out there. Wow, I wish I could be in it. <laughs> but um, <Yeah. laughs> it, You were in a movie. Well, people say that you were in a movie, but some people aren't perfectly sure if that was you or not. You know, some people were wondering whether or not their eyes were deceiving them. Is it true or is it not true you had a part in 8 Mile? Yes, that was me. <laughs> that was me going, three, one, three. Yes, that was me all day long. And that was before making the band, which is so crazy. You know, um, it, it was just, like, funny how I ended up in the front part of, you know, the show. Everybody's, like, seeing me. They're like, dang, Sarah, wasn't that you? You know, I remember Fabulous and somebody said they had a bet. They were like, I'm about to ask her if that's her. I have a bet that, it, that you know, if it is, I, I got some money coming to me. So it was actually, like, you know, people didn't know it was me, but they were like, wait a minute. I think that is her. You know, I'm the only one light skinned up in that day <laughs> besides Eminem, you know, and the curly hair, talking about some 313. That was definitely me, everybody. <laughs>